Hey friends, welcome back to Chris's Creative Kids. Today's video, I'm going to show you the crafts that we're going to be doing in my in-home daycare this year for Mother's Day. If you're not already, do subscribe. I run an in-home daycare in my home in Alberta, Canada. I care for six kids daily under the age of five. We have lots of daycare content on the channel as well as some mom life videos and just things that interest me. So definitely do click that subscribe button and come check out the rest of our videos. But let's get right into our crafts. Our first craft today, I wanna show you, we're gonna be making a card. Now I've done this craft quite a few times with my kids and they really do seem to enjoy it. All you need is some markers and some coffee filters as well as paint brushes and water to make this craft. All you're gonna do is get your kids to make a fun design on the coffee filters. I would definitely suggest not offering up colors such as black and brown because they do tend to overtake the entire thing and it just won't work out. As you can see here, we just color on blobs of color and then we use our paintbrush to just paint over the whole thing with some water. This in turn makes the color run and it gives it a really cool effect when you have it done. Here I'm just taking some watercolors. You can do this as well. It's actually maybe a little bit easier for those younger kiddos. But I do find that when the watercolors dry, mine anyways, they do seem a little bit starchy. So that is one thing to consider here. Now, once they're dry, you just fold it up to the size you want. I actually took a couple tries at this because I couldn't figure out what size we were gonna use. But in the end, I ended up going with a much smaller size. So now I just make petal-like shapes just so that it looks kind of like a flower. You can have your five-year-olds do this, but for the younger kids, I would definitely do it myself. We just went ahead and did three of these and I'm just taking a piece of paper cardstock so that I can make a simple card. Now we're just taking some glue to glue on our flowers. It might be easier as well to use some liquid glue but I found this worked just fine with the stick glue as, and even putting the buttons on it was, it was okay with the stick glue. They, they stayed in place well. And then just have your older kids write a fun message in there for mom. And there's our finished card. And that's our finished product. It's super cute and super simple. And not a lot of money either. You could use anything. I just had buttons on hand, so that's what I used. Okay. And now our next craft, we're going to make a necklace out of air dried clay that I picked up at the dollar store for $1.25. This entire thing would do the entire daycare. So I have 12 kids total in my daycare and this is so cheap and easy. I also found the necklace strings at the dollar store for $1.25 for five of them. So this is definitely a budget-friendly craft idea. All I had the kids do was take their thumbprints and make a heart shape. And then all I need to do is cut out the heart. I found it a little bit difficult to pick up the heart without bending the edges too much, but I mean, it's a kid's craft. The moms are gonna love it. Just 
just use something sharp to poke a hole through. Let it dry for 24 hours. Now take your paint and a paintbrush and let the kids paint it whatever color they want. I just had pink on hand so I went with it. Pro tip for you guys, put the necklace on before it's dry or this will happen to you. Oops. So now what I've done here is this is wet. I've just put it through and for the sake of the video and time, I just went ahead and painted it. <laughs> I would not suggest painting these when they're still wet like this. I would definitely wait the 24 hours. But for time's sake, I did go ahead and just paint it. And that's your finished necklace. Again, super cute and I think the moms will just keep it as a keepsake. They don't necessarily have to wear it, but you know what? It looks pretty cute. All right, next up, we are going to be making hand towels. I know we've all seen this one on Pinterest, but it's so cheap. You can get two of these hand towels at the dollar store for a buck 25. I thought that was too good a deal to pass up, so I'm gonna do that with my kids this year. This is just my daughter and my son just doing one up for me. We'll probably give it to grandma. You could choose any design really. We just went with hand flowers. I think they look super cute. It's functional, easy, and budget friendly. you have kids that can write, I would also suggest just having the kids write their names. But again, for time's sake, my kids didn't really want to <laughs> stay in the house while I was filming. So I've just wrote on here, love Harlow and Charlie. So they always turn out so cute, you guys. And I have these from my kids when they were super little in preschool. I just love the way they look. Okay, next up, this is one of my favorites. I do this every single year for the kids, um, for their moms. We're just decorating a pot. This year I've decided to go with um, thumbprint butterflies. And again, the kids can really do whatever design they want, but I've given them all this option and most of them went with it. So that's what we ended up with, was these super cute butterflies. This is my daughter, she's 10, and she did a great job on hers. Hers looks very, very well done. You can also just have them decorate the top of the container here. I just went to Rona and I picked up a six pack of these pansies for, I think it was $3. So that's really affordable as well if, if you have a small daycare. Altogether, I think this costs about three or four dollars per kid so 
I mean, this isn't super budget friendly, but I love doing this one with the kids. And there you have it guys, there's our finished crafts. This is what we're gonna be giving our mothers this Mother's Day and my daycare. And you know what, I hope for all you moms out there, you have a great Mother's Day. You guys deserve a day of rest, a clean house, and a meal. I'd love to know what you guys made with your daycare kids for Mother's Day this year. Thanks for watching friends, we'll see you next video.